President, I now call upon Dr. Vladimir Stankovic to introduce our student speaker. President, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, colleagues, it is my great pleasure to introduce Rafi Maurer to address the student congregation. From the beginning, Rafi was a kind and considerate presence in the Department of Computer Science. He contributed greatly to its academic and social life. Rafi has demonstrated clarity of thought, a depth of technical knowledge and commitment throughout his degree. This is especially evident from his work in the challenging team project module in year two, which I taught. His team achieved one of the highest marks in that year and was awarded a showcase, showcase prize. During the project, Rafi was very supportive of other students too. Rafi demonstrated excellent interpersonal skills and was approachable and trustworthy throughout his degree. Rafi's academic achievements have been outstanding in the final year, arguably the most difficult one. He achieved an excellent mark in the final year individual project when he developed a bespoke cloud-based software for managing activity camps for children and young adults. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege and honor to present to you Rafi Maurer. Good morning. President, faculty members and staff, family and friends, it is truly an honor to address you here today. Being here some 15 months after my official graduation is a majorly significant juncture. And I must say how wonderful it is to be finally gathered here for this auspicious occasion as the world begins to heal from the tribulations of the past two years. Accordingly, I wish to take this opportunity to thank the staff, as well as our family and friends who have facilitated our success, in good times as well as hard. I would like to talk to you about the power of technology and what it might mean for us. At this point in history, we must recognize the power of what we have in our hands. There is no greater emblem of the brave new world which we now inhabit than the virtual existences that we have recently weathered. Our society's ability to remain productive and stable throughout all of this serves as a testament to the sheer technological capabilities we now possess. The rate of the digitization of our lives is only accelerating in a response to the evolution of expectations, work patterns, and society at large. As technologists, we believe in the undeniable utility that computing has had and will yet have in solving these and other problems. The challenge of the coming era, and therefore for us, is to temper this vision with an ethical and wise perspective to render what we create a true force for good. It is vital to remember that information is not necessarily wisdom. A video call, not always a dialogue. A follower, not always a friend. And a like, not always a sign of affection. The human soul and experience are decidedly analog. Our connection and cooperation with others are what animate us. Our interaction with the physical world is what inspires us. And our time in higher education is proof of all of this. As such, rather than an unmoderated commitment to the digitization of all that we know, we must be guided by a desire to combine the technological with the human. Technology has been harnessed to solve a significant set of human problems. It may now fall to our generation to tackle an additional secondary set those problems brought about as unintended consequences of our rapid advancement. 
We're all familiar with this problem set. Limitless access to information, yet a difficulty discerning the truth. Instant communication, yet endemic loneliness. Infinite possibilities, yet a feeling that the world is closing in. The key lies in acknowledging that technology alone cannot answer these questions. And this is where we enter the equation. Indeed, it may soon be possible for machines themselves to write the software that they run. But only human beings possess the insight and wisdom to chart a virtuous path into the unknown. So, in the spirit of our studies together at City, let us learn from history, from that which is around us, and by looking inside ourselves, to utilize this great power for the betterment of our society and the entire world. Congratulations to you all, and thank you very much.